Good morning everyone, it's currently 10 a.m. I'm not far from the Sydney International Airport. This is the place where I usually park when my client's plane is due to arrive. So I've got a couple of moments I can show you what's in my car. My name is Ratko, a Sydney-based chauffeur, aka Ray. On this channel I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life. Okay, today I'm in my sedan because sometimes in the in the minibus. This is the place where I usually park my vehicle before my client's uh, plane is due to arrive. It's my little secret place, classified as a corporate sedan and also as a limo. When you say limo, it makes the people think one of those stretch limos, but as long as the interior is uh, uh, leather, uh, as long as the car has got all these uh, luxurious features uh, and also that extra leg room at the back, it can be classified as a limo. So this is a Holden Caprice, like I said, uh, in the States it's part of that GM family. In England it's uh, called Vauxhall, ideally made for uh, you know, corporate or individual clients for one or, or two people. And um, it can carry up to two luggages and, and two carry-ons. Sadly, they stopped making them a couple of years ago, but still it's been an iconic vehicle for the higher car industry in Sydney. Show for life. So let me start uh, with the most important things that I have in my car, which is my telephone the mobile phone that I'm using on a daily basis. And this is obviously one of the most, if not the most important thing in the car. So I keep it in this uh, magnetic thing, which uh, it's called uh, walk and talk. It's a pretty strong magnet. You can buy it pretty much anywhere in Australia. Uh, I've used a lot of these things, uh, like um, all these suction cups on the, on the, on the windscreen. A lot of other things, but this one works perfectly for me. It just uh, goes in the in the vent. It's a pretty strong magnet. The phone stays firm, and that's all I need. And it's really practical. Uh, in these modern times today, uh, I would uh, recommend anyone using a dash cam because first of all, they are not expensive, and these things are a great feature in your vehicle. 1080p, 30 frames per second. As long as you can you can read the registration number of the vehicles in front of you, that's all it that matters. Show for life. The next thing that I'm having uh, in my limo is uh, this is my appointment book. I write all the bookings in this uh, book. So it looks something like this, where actually I write manually by hand um, about the date, about the time, about the flight number if I'm picking up a client from uh, both international or domestic airport. So all these necessarily things, or all this information, I'm writing it down. Yes, someone might say, uh, so why don't you use uh, the calendar of your telephone? Yes, I do use the calendar, but I like to do the old school as well. So if you ask me uh, when a booking um, comes through, I write down the booking in this uh, appointment book, but also in my Telephone. So why it was? Because I want to make sure I won't miss a booking because that happened to me a long time ago. And if you ask any limo driver, I'm pretty sure anyone have experienced the same or similar. Uh, so at any stage, if you're a limo driver, uh, this could happen to you to forget a booking. So I've learned my lesson that was a long time ago. So now as long as uh, um, uh, the booking is written down in this book and also in my, in my telephone, I'm happy with that. So in that way, I will never miss a booking. The next I have in my limo is my iPad. So this is one of the key key features as a, as a limo driver. I use this little computer for managing my bookings and uh, sending invoices if I'm on the go. So if I'm not at home, because at home I use my mainly my computer. I like my computer because it's way bigger and all that. If I'm on the road, if I'm not in Sydney, if I'm uh, 
in a place like Central Coast, if I'm in any other place, if I'm in uh, Newcastle, Canberra or any other place near Sydney, if I have to send an invoice to my clients, I'm using this uh, little iPad. So that's the main purpose for this little iPad, but also when picking up a client from both international or domestic airport in Sydney, I use this as a name sign. So name sign means Let's say if John Smith is arriving, uh, there's an app called Pickup Sign. Uh, I open this app, type the name John Smith, and I'm gonna be displaying it. If I've never seen the client before, if I don't know the client, um, that's what I'll be doing at the, the terminal one, two or three in Sydney. And obviously when the client uh, sees his name displayed on, on a whiteboard, in this case on this iPad, he will approach, he will shake a hand, not necessarily with the COVID, but in general, we shake hands and then we are good to proceed from the terminal. So the next thing that I have in my car is this box of baby wipes, the wet baby wipes, and um, I use them pretty much for anything, maybe a bit of dusting in the car. Or if a client asks me, do you have some, some tissues I usually offer this to the client and it can be used for for different purposes maybe a little coffee spill or, or after long flight they can wash their hands maybe wash their face so it's very practical any box of baby wipes will do so this is a, a great feature in your in your car as a, as a chauffeur and the next thing that I have in my car this is a very very personal a uh, little bag. I usually have uh, the most personal items, things like a uh, pair of ravens. So these, uh, these ravens, I wear them most of the time on very sunny days, obviously. The next thing that I have uh, is, uh, <laughs> yes, that camera belongs in this little box. Next that I have, it's the power bank. And actually, I really like this power bank uh, for a couple of reasons. It really absorbs a lot of energy and also can last for, for quite a long time. And the good thing about this um, power bank, that it's got a few different adapters at the back. So starting from the lightning or the Apple adapter, then, then the C, Android and some adapter for, for a computer, or I'm not sure, I never used that, but it belongs. So all these four adapters, they are attached to the power bank and you don't have to carry any additional cables. So it's all here. And if my telephone or my camera or anything runs out of energy, I use this power bank. I bought it for about $25 from eBay and it's really handy. It says fast charging. I think um, most of them that uh, says fast charging are pretty good, but I'm really, really happy with this power bank. Next that I have in my personal bag, this is, this is my wallet. No further explanation. That's my license and all that inside and all the cards. This is the male coin. Chanel. Uh, this is one of, definitely one of my favorites. I, I carry this coin pretty much everywhere and it's really, really exotic flavor. It's 50 mil. 50 mil cost me around less than $100. I mean, but it's been my favorite coin for the last few years and I'll keep using it because I'm really, really happy in the way it smells. So that's my favorite cologne. Okay, what's next? Also for the for the windy days, I have a lip balm. <laughs> yes, just a little bit on the windy day. And uh, also mints. I like the strawberry flavor. 
it sort of refreshes your your morning breath i tend not to have a mint in my mouth uh, while driving while i'm with a client only because of the sounds that the mouth is producing but um, especially for the morning before i pick up my client i'd like to have one so like i said the strawberry is my my favorite flavor and uh, that's also a feature in my bag and the last thing that i'm having uh, in my personal bag but uh, i guess i should have showed you this first so this is my wireless headphones um, i bought them for hundred dollars and they do a lovely lovely job i also use the apple ones these ones are huawei and for some reason i'm way happier they connect really fast they never failed to connect which is a, a great thing and this is what I keep inside this boot. Obviously, this is uh, the place where the luggage is going, especially if you're picking up someone from the international or domestic airport. I have this little mat. Just, I use it like that, so not, not to damage or not to scratch the car when I'm loading it with, um, with bags. See, so that's, that's the mat. This box in Australia, it's called Eski. I'm not sure if you have heard this before. I haven't before I, before I came to Australia. So I use this especially for, for, for the summer days because in Australia, in summer, could get very, very hot. Uh, I have a couple of uh, bottles of um, chilled water. I also have these uh, uh, ice blocks, which are helping for the water to stay chilled. And a little breakfast little breakfast like a piece of fruit or anything like that so this all the time stays in my boot whenever i feel like a snack i might have a piece of fruit or anything like that or if a client asks me for chilled water so this is the place where i'm getting it from also i have this uh, jumbo chamois so this is just for wiping the car sometimes i use it after the car wash sometimes i use it um, if i have to be in a hotel but i didn't have uh, enough time to to wash the car properly so this is when i'm using it also very important as a, as a lima driver to have at least two umbrellas in your car so all the time it doesn't matter if it's sunny day or it's raining because you never know especially nowadays in in australia it could start raining anytime in the van in that minibus uh, more but in the sedan at least two Everything that I use in this limo, it's kind of necessarily to me. I, I never keep uh, unnecessarily uh, objects uh, in, my, in my car. Uh, I tend to keep the place nice and tidy. I never put anything uh, hanging uh, uh, on the windscreen, like some sort of chains. <laughs> no, don't do that if you're a chauffeur. Um, family photos uh, family pictures so you put everything on site and save that for yourself friendly atmosphere you should be creating inside your limo if you're a limo driver starting from the temperature the music if you're wondering what type of music i'm playing in my car just watch this video here and see you next time